In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Dear friends, today we remember a young saint, Joseph Bergmans, who was a Jesuit at the age of 22, died, and someone who wanted to be a saint, if not when young, he knew he would not be. The call of today's reading too is that to live according to God's word and be sanctified. We pray for these intentions and we remember the following people and pray for their intentions. We remember Brother Vandabas CM, Brother Shailin Stadakar, Wom Ye, Lingto, who celebrate their birthdays. We ask the Lord to bless them. We remember Alamirati Longchar, who is on his journey traveling. We ask the Lord to protect and guide. We pray for the good health of Jean Wardry, Mildred Hupniao, and we remember the departed souls of Sister Elizabeth Bakmala, Pilot Marcel Rincha, Rico Hayo, Jokain Tro Nungrum, Drian Sinara Srincha, Ram Sumer, Isidora Kurba, Entry Kurba, Jacinda Kurba, Anna Mary Kurba, Iting Kurba, Baby Kurba, Dominic Nungrum, Evang Chilin Nungrum, Sandy Nungrum, Alka Kujur, Upal Gupta, Krep Umdor, Devjani, Shai Stadoli, Manchu De, Nareshwar Sharma, Yohana Sutri, Barley Hubert, Dorit, Sophie, Louise, Irene, Richard, and Sophia Sutri, Ma Sutri, Elizabeth Nori, David William, John Roberts, Franken, Dana, Daswani, Alain Doral Nongla, Ricky Fankin, Amros Moon, Bismayat, Augustin, Walter, Miltred, Patrick, Philip, and John Bismoy. We also remember and pray for the intentions for the good health of Rosemary Shade, blessing for the renovation of the house of Rosemary, for the special intentions of Yabriyo Shadab and for the departed souls of all our Archbishops who worked in this diocese of love. We will also pray and remember in a very special way souls in purgatory. Today and tomorrow we shall offer the Mass for them, especially abandoned souls that who nobody to pray for. We remember them and pray that the Lord may take them to his eternal reward in heaven. Let's be sorry for all our sins that we receive God's grace and blessing in this Holy Eucharist. Trusting in his mercy, we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. You were sent to be the contrite, Lord have mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, bring us to life for the last day. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, who rule both the living and the dead, and are merciful to all, we humbly beseech you for the souls of our near and dear ones, and souls in purgatory, that those for whom we pour out our prayers may obtain pardon for their sins through your tender mercy, rejoicing together and blessed in your sight and praising you without end. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of the Apocalypse. The dead were judged by what they had done. I saw the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven. I, John, saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand the key of the bottomless pit 
and a great chain. And he seized the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and threw him into the pit, and shut and shut it and sealed it over him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand, thousand years were ended. After that he must be loosed for a little while. Then I saw thrones, and seated on them were those to whom judgment was committed. Also I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their, for their testimony to Jesus and for the word of God, and who had not worshipped the beast or its image, and had not received its mark on their and not, not received its mark on their forehead or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat upon it, upon it. From, from his presence, earth and sky fled away, and no peace and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Also another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged by what was written in the books, by what they had done, and the sea gave up the dead in it. Then and Hades gave up the dead in them, and all were judged by what they had done. Then God and then 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 and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire, and if any man's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Then I saw a new heaven, a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of the heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The word of God. The response of the song. Here God lives among men. Here God lives among men. My soul is longing and yearning, yet is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul rings out with joy to God, the living God. The response. Here God lives among men. The sparrow herself finds a home and this and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young for your altar, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Here they are all the Son They are happy who dwell in your house, for, for forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is new. They walk with ever growing strength. Here they are all the Son The acclamation. The Lord be with you. And with Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 21, verses 29 to 33. Jesus told his disciples a parable Think of the fig tree, and indeed every tree. As soon as you see them, but you know that summer is now near. So with you, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. I tell you solemnly, before this generation has passed away, all will have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. To the end of the liturgy of the year, and our readings are in the same tone. The first reading we heard today, John's vision of the, the heavens and the underworld. Of course, it's a scene of the final judgment. And we see what lasts long is the holy city of Jerusalem, that is God's dwelling place. And that is where we are all called to us. We will be in the book of written 
and we hope we will be all there and that's our prayer. The Gospel of today, Jesus brings a parable of, let's say, the fig tree, the change. You know, when we look around, there are many things that keep changing, as the Lord says. Sometimes we stand on different philosophies or what is they call it, relativism. Sometimes morality nowadays is defined by what is common, majority and is what is popular. But that is very as relative and can keep changing. But the one base that explains and defines for us is God alone because His words are eternal, always the same and will never pass away. Define anything else against anything else, I'm sure it changes. It's good to look, as they say, in philosophy. God makes the base of everything, our origin, our morality, the meaning of our life and our destiny. There is nothing else on this we can define. And when these four things are defined on something that is constant, that is when we have a thinking that is common, we have a thinking that is divine and we have a life and a destiny that is spiritual. Let's look into our life that we define our existence, we define our meaning, we define our morality and of course focus ourselves towards that eternal destiny that the Lord wants to give. As we continue this Holy Eucharist, we pray for the Lord's grace in us that we may live a life worthy of the eternal Holy City. And may Jesus, whose body and blood that we receive now, make us worthy of this eternal reward. Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. By your acceptance of this sacrificial offering, O Lord, grant your servants a near endurance and the souls in purgatory. May be sharers in the abundant riches of Jesus, so that with him they may be raised again to life and receive a place at his right hand, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. And with the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just a duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For it is at your summons that we come to birth, by your will that we are governed and at your command that we return on account of our sin to that earth from which we came. And when you give the sign that who have seen redeemed by the death of your Son shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so with all the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Joanna, Barley, Hubert, Doreen, Sophie, Louis, Irene, Richard, Sophia, Madame, Elizabeth, David, William, John Robert, Dalla, Daswani, Elaine, Daryl, Amrose Moon, Augustine Walter, Mildred, Patrick, Philip, John, departed bishops of our diocese, Sister Elizabeth, Pilot Marcel, Rico Hyon, Ricky Fankin, Duke Intro, Diane Sonora, Ram, Isidora, Henry, Jacinta, Anna Mary, Ethan, Baby, Dominic, Evangeline, Santi, Alka, Upal, Krep, Umdor, Devjani, Shining Star, Manju Dev, Marin, Shwar, and all our near and dear ones and the souls in purgatory, whom you have called from this world to your Son. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that the Blessed Virgin may be Mother of God, St. Joseph, the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. Joseph Workmans, St. Anthony, St. John Bosco, and all who are pleased to you. Throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray for the coming of God's kingdom that is permanent in our life in our families, in the prayer that Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let's offer each other God's peace. Now, God.
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away all our sins. Blessed are we who are called to receive Him. As we receive the Lord spiritually sacramentally into us, we ask the Lord to make His home in us that permanent, that He be our origin, our morality, our meaning, and our destiny. May the Lord heal us. May the Lord transform us. For the Lord may we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Let us pray. Hear, O God, your children nourished now by the sacrament of salvation, and as through the Holy Spirit you raised Jesus, your only begotten Son from the dead, so grant to your faithful servants and your adherents, souls in purgatory, the joy of life and immortality. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Bless and praise be every moment. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We turn to the Lord and ask Him for all our blessed prayers, intentions. We are all the Lord of us with the shining star, Om Ye, Nikali, Do, Alam Rati, Lamchar, may the Lord bless them, protect them. We pray for the good health of Jean Mordry, Mildred. We remember the departed souls of Sister Elizabeth, Ricky Fergan, Pilot, Rico, Javindro, Triam Sinora, Ram, Isidora, Henry, Jacinda, Anna Mary, Ethan, Baby, Dominic, Evangeline, Santi, Alka, Opal, Greg, Devjani, Shining Star, Manchu, Nareshwar, to remember the departed souls of all the Archbishops, Mutia, Ramamba Yola Sutin, and Barley, Hubert, Doreen, Sophie, Louise, Irene, Richard, Sophia, Madame, Elizabeth, David, William, John Roberts, Dalla, Daswani, Alain Jarrell, and Ramamba the Pray for the souls of Ambrose Moon, Augustine Walter, Mildred, Patrick, Philip, John, so many intentions of good health for Rosemary Shea, blessing on our house, special intentions of you shut up. Let's also bring all of the prayers that we have as the Lord to hear us, bless us, and may His mercy, may His kingdom eternally, spiritually live in us, and we be worthy of the holy city of Jerusalem one day. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Praise the Lord. Rest in the Lord. And this day is the food of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our Amen. The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered of the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life of our Lord. Amen. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your daily beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Have mercy on us of the whole world. 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 Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord and Father, sent and so on. Have mercy on us and the whole world. 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 
Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. I offer you the body and the soul and divinity of your daily beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Have mercy on us and the whole world. 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 You, the body and blood, soul and divinity of your daily beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, atonement for our sins. Have mercy on us and the whole world. 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 I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son. Have mercy on us and the whole world. 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 Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One. Holy Mother God, have mercy on us in the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty God, Holy Mother God, have mercy on us in the whole world. Blood and water, so far, heart of Jesus, as the heart of the sweet Christ, I trust in you. O blood and water, so far, heart of Jesus, as the heart of the sweet Christ, I trust in you. As a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you.
Bless and praise be every moment. Bless and praise be every moment. Bless and praise be every moment. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We pray for all the souls in purgatory and the departed as we say eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Amen. May they rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest give unto them, O Lord. Amen. May they rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest give unto them, O Lord. Amen. May they rest in peace. Amen. We pray for God's care and protection as we say, most merciful and trying God. We come to you in our weakness. We come to you in our fear. We come to you with trust. For you alone are our hope. We place before you the disease present in our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors. Give understanding to scientists. And to our caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill. Protect those who are most at risk. Give comfort to those who have lost a loved one. Welcome those who have died in your eternal home. Stabilize our communities. Unite us in our compassion. Remove our fear from our hearts. Fill us with confidence in your Jesus. 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 Amen. Pray to the Holy Family. Jesus name.